The celebration of the Chiefs Super Bowl victory happening tomorrow in our nation's capital. Good evening, I'm Jackson Kurtz. Thanks for joining us. Our Dennis Evans is live in Washington, D.C. Outside the White House, the team is ready for some of our top leaders to welcome our defending champs. Dennis, I know those guys probably excited for that moment. Yeah, definitely. The interesting thing is people think, you know, the Chiefs, they've won Super Bowls before. This is actually the third Super Bowl in franchise history. However, this is going to be the first time that the Kansas City Chiefs as a football team have been here to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Back in 1970, when the Chiefs won, you know, they weren't inviting teams to the White House. And in 2020, it was during the middle of the pandemic, so they didn't come then. So for Patrick Mahomes, for Travis Kelsey, for all these guys on the Chiefs, it's going to be the first time they'll be able to come here. They'll get to meet the president, pose for the pictures. I'm betting they're probably going to be able to give him a jersey as well. So what a huge day for the Chiefs, a huge accomplishment. And this is what you get when you win the Super Bowl. You get a chance to come to the White House. You have the people out front taking pictures. Of course, you have the people on the other side protesting. But the Chiefs are coming here to the White House to celebrate their third Super Bowl championship. First time that they will be there. And we will be right there along with them and have reports for you all day tomorrow. Reporting live from Washington, D.C., Dennis Evans. KBC 9 News. All right, Dennis, thank you. The Chiefs will be back in Kansas City for the last last day of organized team activities Thursday. The next week mandatory mini camp starts on Tuesday. That runs through Thursday and after that the team will start packing equipment up and head north for training camp in St. Joe. Dates have not yet been announced.